Oh, f fire. What are you doing? Sorry for the swearing. Oh, God, I got that on, on camera. It made me swear. That was enough to make a parson swear. And I'm not a parson. Far from it. But who was at fault? Legally, he was, of course. But the problem being, I let him into my area, into my zone, on his terms, not on mine. So much more I could have done there. There's a lot of debate after I uploaded that little clip, what, 18 months ago, as to whether I could have done anything about it. And the general consensus was, bugger all, I couldn't have done nothing. Um, but I disagree. And that's why I have the Rider Guider as a YouTube channel to show about, to show my defensive riding skills. I think I could have avoided that just by a little bit more awareness of what was going on around me. If I'd seen the guy distracted looking at his phone, I could have stood up on my seat and pulled my pants down and shown my ass. I could have done anything. I could have jumped off the bike and said, mate, you know, that's the option. If you see somebody looking down and they're in your mirror, turn around and point at them and say, get off your phone, mate. You're behind me. You could hit me up the backside. I could have done that. Now, I don't know whether he was on his phone or not. He said he was distracted by his dog on the back seat. Either way, he was distracted. It wasn't concentrating on me. If I'd have been concentrating on him behind me and not just looking up and down the road to make sure nothing was coming, prior to that, I could have seen what was happening. And that's just a little bit of what I could have done more. And that's what the Rider Guide is all about, my channel. If you want to learn a bit more about defensive riding and how to defend against people smacking you up the backside, cutting you up, pulling out on you, all the hazards that we come up against every day, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.